In an exciting episode of Lund's The Ultimate Fishing Experience Show, Ryan DeShane and Kyle Peterson chase down river smallmouth bass in their 1875 Renegade. Look at that other one, Kyle. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do I th here? Yeah, I got uh, here, here, I'll, just, um, I'll just keep them here for you. You're just going to hold them for me? Hurry up, hurry up. All right, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Oh, I see them. They're more interested in this. Got them. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> why do we like river fishing? That's why. I don't think I need to say anything more. I'm done talking. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan gets a pack of them coming to the boat, and I'll come in and drop right behind them and doubles. Here's a R pair. <laughs> river bass, man, about as good as it gets. Yeah, skinny water. We've been real fortunate at Wired to Fish to be able to own and then spend a lot of time fishing out of Lund's various bass boats. The model we're fishing out of today is the 1875 Lund Renegade, which has a modified V-Haul. What that gives you is a little bit more comfort in real skinny water like we're fishing today. We're on a river system and the water's really low, but we can come out here with a decent sized motor and, and run it safely. So it's a very versatile haul for smaller bodies of water slipping into the back country, those types of environments. I'm in the back of the boat and this has got a nice wide beam. It's a real stable boat as it's got a lot of storage in it. It holds eight rods up in the rod box. It's got on the go storage as well. We come prepared with a lot of different tackle and we've got storage for all of that. We've got a live well up in the front, a live well right under my feet here. I've got my own plastics hooks, everything I need right here. I don't have to go up in the front. It's a great boat for smaller bodies of water, but we can also take it onto a little bigger body of water and fish it real comfortably. The nice thing about the Lund Renegade line is it comes in a 1775 and an 1875 model. So good sizes, uh, depending on your needs. And you can power the 1775 with a 90 horse or the, there we go, or the 1875 <laughs> with a 115 you're not compromising performance with either of those engines. It lets you get from A to B really quickly, which in the case of today on the river, we had a pretty good run to get out here. So it's not slow going, we moved pretty good. We were running comfortably over 40 miles an hour. Nice we one. actually rigged this one with a hydraulic jack plate. So we have a TH Atlas, which even gives us a little bit more shallow water, safe running with that motor. Nice bass. I switched up from that jerk bait to a, a little top water and look what I caught, huh? X wrap prop produced. Skinny water. It's the beauty of the top water is just being able to call fish from a ways away. That's a pretty one there. That's all right, I'm huh, bud. That works. <laughs>